Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to level 2, 3, interval yoga class. The focus is going to be on backbends, twists, cardio intervals and core strength. Let's begin at the front of our mats, feet hip width apart, toes pointing directly forward. Roll the shoulders back and down, allowing the shoulder blades to be flat, to sink into the upper back. Lengthen through the crown of your head, inhale, lifting through the crown of the head. Exhale, allow your feet to drop into your mat. Inhale, open the chest, palms of the hands opening forward. Allowing the space between the collarbones to open, allowing your heart to be vibrant. As you exhale, extend your tailbone down and let your feet sink a little deeper, further down into your mat, allowing you to feel grounded, centered, strong. Feel the central axis of your body, pay attention to the central axis of your body, paying attention to the left and the right, left and right side of your body and just observe the equilibrium between the left and the right. And let's inhale the hands all the way over the head grabbing the right wrist with the left hand, elbows back, side bend and over to the opposite side, elbow back, lengthen both sides of your torso, back to center, exhale hands all the way down, either grabbing your legs or allowing them to hang, inhale look ahead of you, hands on the floor, Step back, plank. Lower down, all the way onto your belly. Hands underneath the shoulders, cobra. Elbows into the rib cage, slightly bent. Lengthen the back of your neck. And let's lift back up and all the way back into downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide open, lift the tailbone and hips as high as you can, soften the heels down towards the floor, shoulders away from the ears, spinning the inner elbows, triceps in towards the shoulders and you can step your feet to the front of your mat, forward bend, inhale come all the way up to standing, reach over your head and let's bend over to the right. Clasping the hands, look up, back to center, over to the opposite side, lengthen, open the rib cage, back to center, exhale, diving down, inhale, looking forward and step back, plank. Lower down Chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, and you can rock your hips side to side looking back at your heels to the left and to the right, and back to center look up, Chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog, you can walk in place here. Inhale the right leg up and you can roll your right hip on top of the left, opening the leg up, bend your knee and you can step your foot behind, wow thing, lifting the hips, opening the heart, reaching through the fingertips. From here transition into one legged downward facing dog into your chest, kick your leg across from your body, drop the foot on the floor, flip your hips up, back bend, 
pressing the hips high and we're gonna do 10 toe touches one keep your hips lifted two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you can go into a back bend again hands on the floor one legged downward facing dog chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog inhale the left leg up and you can open the hip left hip on top of the right breathe into your hip bend the knee lift the knee as high as you can lengthen wild thing stepping the foot behind you open the chest open the heart towards the front of your room Great, hands on the floor, back to one legged downward dog, bring your foot across from your body and open up. Another back bend. And from here transition into side plank, opposite foot to hand touches, 10 of those. Keeping the hips lifted and the belly in, the wrist exactly underneath the shoulder. And really lengthen. Once you're done with your 10 reps, hands on the floor. One legged. Downward dog, one legged chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. And let's step the feet at the front of the mat, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, flat back, come all the way up to standing. Reach over the head, hands over the third eye, and hands over the heart. Coming back to your breath. Coming back to your equal standing, paying attention to the left and to the right foot. With each exhalation, allowing your feet to connect deeper to the earth. With each inhalation, consciously observing the breath, guiding the breath into the central axis of your body. Standing tall, standing grounded. And let's inhale the hands all the way over the head, back bend, and shift your weight onto your right leg, step the left leg all the way back into a lunge, hands over the head, press the back heel away from you, right knee pointing directly forward, lower the left knee on the floor and go a little further back into a crescent lunge back bend hands in prayer and you can bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee allow your chest to open and the shoulders to drop down away from your ears 
coming back out of this open and lift let's lift the left knee off the floor pressing the back heel away and step in to the front of your mat feet hip width apart changing sides shifting the weight onto the left leg step all the way back right leg back high lunge and you can lower the right knee on the floor crescent reaching all the way back into a back extension let's bring the hands over the heart prayer right elbow on the outside of the left knee exhale soften your belly and twist deeper here feel the twist in your midsection coming back up reaching over the head and back and let's lift the back knee off the floor and step your feet at the front of the mat hip width apart lift lengthen elongate hands clasping and let's reach over to the right side bend and over to the left and back to center and let's inhale the hands all the way over the head step the left foot all the way back into lunge high lunge and let's clasp the hands behind us open the chest guide the hands down the left leg opening the shoulders slowly lower your forehead down towards your right ankle humble warrior variation lunge variation and come back up still clasping the hands open the chest inhale the hands over the head over the heart twist left elbow on the outside of the right knee relax the shoulders coming back out of it back to high lunge and we're gonna lower the left knee 10 times two three four tailbone extended down five six seven eight nine ten and let's step to the front of the mat take the right leg back high lunge really open the chest here back bend Let's clasp the hands behind, walk the hands down the right leg, open the chest, soften the shoulders, lift through the heart. Inhale the hands over the head and over the heart, right elbow on the outside of the left knee, twisting lunge. Keep your hips square here. Really find the twist through the midsection, try to keep the hips aligned. Soften the breath back to center inhale the hands all the way over the head and let's lower the right knee ten times lowering the knee directly down tailbone pointed down left knee over the left ankle or behind the left ankle just make sure your left knee is not over your toes very important and let's step at the front of the mat inhale the hands over your head and chair pose hands in prayer left elbow on the outside of the right knee back to center and over to the opposite side open the chest lengthen through the crown of the head elongating the spine back to center step the right foot all the way back in lunge chair left leg back in lunge chair let's do this one two three Four belly in. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Incoming chair pose. Sit back. Belly in. Keep your chest open and your back straight. Inhale, coming out of this. Reach over the head, reach back. Exhale. Hands to the feet or to your calves. Forward bend. Inhale, hands on the shin bones. Look ahead of you. Step back, plank. Pressing the heels away from you, firm belly. Keep the chest open and transition into side plank. Cross the feet underneath the body, touching opposite toe to hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and back to plank. Here we're gonna bring opposite knee to elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, firm belly, ten. One, two, three, four. Keep pressing the heels away from you. Five and six, seven, eight. 9, 10, Chaturanga, upward facing dog, open, and back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog, allowing the heels to lower down, softening the ankles. Keep the back wide, inhale the right leg up, open the right hip on top of the left, bend your knee and let your heel drop behind you. You can step all the way behind you in wild thing, pressing the hips as high as you can, tucking the tailbone under, transition into side plank and if you can, you can grab your ankle behind you in side plank, clasping. Tuck the tailbone under and from here you can bring your leg in front of you. You can come back to this, it requires a little bit of balancing and then step, guide your foot at the front of the mat, stepping in high lunge, twist, right arm up and come up to standing, walk your right hand down your left leg. Engage your core here and let's look ahead of us, hands in prayer, left elbow on the outside of the right knee, optional, clasping behind, bound, high lunge, twisting high lunge, drop the shoulders away from you, hands back in prayer, come up to high lunge, strong legs, and let's bring the hands on the inside of the right foot and lower down, walk your left knee away from you. Tuck the tailbone under and really breathe into your quadriceps, into your hip flexors. From here you can bring your right shoulder underneath your right knee, deepening, 
the stretch and you can even try to bring your head underneath your knee working on deepening the hamstring opening hip opening great hands on the floor step back and we're gonna step the foot forward and back stepping the foot on the outside of the right hand ten times one two three four five six seven steady eight nine ten and one legged chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog coming back to your breath again engaging the tailbone inhale the left leg up open the left hip on top of the right hip bend the left knee and you can drop the foot behind you while thing lifting the hips as high as you can transition into side plank optional is to clasp your foot behind you hard on the balancing and from here you can bring your foot in front of you again quite tricky but work on it guide your foot to the front of your mat stepping high lunge and let's twist bring your left arm up right hand on the floor come up to high lunge walk your left hand down the, down the right leg twisting here and let's face forward hands in prayer right elbow on the outside of the left knee optional clasping under open the chest press the back heel away from you a lot of your balancing here is in the right leg and back to prayer facing forward let's bring the hands on the inside of the left foot and lower down lower the back knee down walk your right knee away from you keep your left knee into your shoulder and behind or over your ankle not over your toes tuck your tailbone under here very important now you can work on bringing the shoulder underneath your knee if you are in this vein of work in flexibility and head underneath not everybody has to work on this but if you're somewhere close you can you can deepen let's do the step out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and one legged chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog lifting the hips elongating the spine in downward dog pulling the belly in and up spread the fingers open widen the shoulders look ahead of you bend your knees and jump your feet on the outside of your mat squat and back to downward dog jump the feet outside low squat yogic squat wide squat and back to downward dog plank let's do kick outs across from the body and low squat at the front let's do 10 of this cross kicks in plank low squat cross kicks in plank low squat plank cross kicks wide squat at the front of your mat jump back cross kicks 
front of the mat low squat plank low kicks you get the drill continue with this low squat jump back cross kicks firm belly low squat strong legs cross kicks low squat firm belly plank firm belly again cross kicks squats are abdominal work always engage your abs in squats cross kicks in plank and back to downward facing dog We're gonna prepare for mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 50 and rest in downward facing dog jump your feet at the front of the mat yogic squat hands in prayer and you can straighten your legs forward bent you can bring your hands over to one ankle and over to the opposite stretching here in a forward bend hands on the floor chair pose sit back Come all the way up to standing. You can clasp your hands, side bends. Tuck your tailbone under and really get deep into your obliques, sides. Open your arms out and reach over. Twist over to one side. You can walk your right hand down the left leg here, reach up. Back to center. Twist over to the opposite side, lift and reach and back up and reaching into a back extension exhale hands on the floor grab your calves forward bend look ahead of you and let's bring the hands behind us in chair pose clasp your hands relax your shoulders Sitting back in chair, open the right shoulder up towards the ceiling and lengthen through the crown of your head and over to the left side, lengthen, soften, back to center, chair pose, reach way ahead of you. And let's bring the hands on the floor, walk your hands back to your feet and jump to the front of your mat. And back to plank, this is one rep, so we're gonna do this combination. Walking the hands back, jumping in squat at the front of the mat and back to plank. And let's jump forward, squat, walk the hands back, squat, walk the hands back, jump front, plank, walk the hands back, jump to the front, plank, walk the hands back, jump to the front, walk the hands all the way back, jump to the front walk the hands all the way back and jump to the front walk the hands all the way back and jump to the front walk the hands all the way back and you can grab your calves and stretch forward bend And let's lower the knees on the floor, coming into all, onto all fours. Opposite, right hand to left ankle, reach and grab your ankle and press your heel away from you, stretching the front of your shoulder. Now we're gonna switch sides and bring the left hand to the left foot. See if you can turn the elbow to the front towards the front of your room here I'm losing my balance and I'm gonna go again find a steady place on the sand and turning the elbow towards the front of the room 
working my way to find balance. Great. Over to the opposite side. Grab your right ankle with your left hand and allow your shoulder to stretch back here. Press the foot away from you. Great. Now switch hands, right hand to the right foot and begin to work your way into a back bend, turning the elbow forward. It is challenging, especially if you're balancing and you can relax. Child's pose. back to downward facing dog inhale the right leg up roll the right hip on top of the left bend the knee step back again wild thing here you can reach back and grab your right ankle with your right hand and then back to side plank stacking the hips on top of each other if you can, feet on top of each other, shoulders are above each other too. Everything in the same plane. Reach way ahead of you with your right hand, palm of the hand facing down. And let's grab the big toe. And open the foot up. Guide the foot to the front of the mat and lower down elbows on the floor left knee on the floor stretching the hip flexors again deepening today we're deepening our flexibility and working on cardiovascular capacity Slowly walk the hands back up, come into crescent lunge, bring your hands over your right knee, either stay here or you can reach back and go into a back bend. I'm leaving all the goof ups in this video so you can see I'm struggling with my balance here today too. right hand reaching forward all right that's as good as it is going to be today hands on the floor plank right knee into the right shoulder hold and all the way back into downward facing dog let's inhale the left leg up open the hip on top of the right hip bend the knee Prepare for wild things. Step it back. Open. Flip the hips. See if you can grab your ankle here. This can be challenging. Lifting the hips as high as you can. And from here, transition into side plank. Right shoulder exactly over the right wrist. Spread the fingers open. Stacking the hips on top of each other, inner thighs squeezing in. Reach way ahead of you, turn the palm of your hand down. And you can grab your big toe here and open. Guide your foot to the front of your mat. Low lunge. Lower the right knee on the floor. Hold in a place that is challenging but comfortable for you there has to be a challenging stretch but not a painful stretch that you cannot hold keeping the knee in and let's come up onto the hands, transition into crescent lunge, hands over the left knee, see if you can bend your right knee, 
reach back see if you can grab your foot and go into a back bend and release hands on the floor plank with the left knee into the left shoulder left upper triceps hold and step it back knees on the floor stretch it out wide legged child pose and you can have your hands palms of your hands facing each other relax the shoulders soften your back let your belly sink down Rib cage sinking down great and from here take plank and we're gonna <laughs> jump the feet on one side of the mat chaturanga then the other ten of those go as quickly as you can jumping over your mat cross the feet chaturanga this can be pretty challenging so go at your own pace and Lower down into Chaturanga, jump over, Chaturanga, jump over, Chaturanga. A few more of those. Make it 10 if you can. And once you're done you can step your feet on the outsides of your mat and walk your hands back slowly lower down into splits holding here from here walk your hands back in towards you white legs sitting on the floor right elbow on the inside of the right knee reach over your head and change sides left side a few more of those deepen it if it feels right grabbing the opposite foot with opposite hand holding the inside of your thigh and back to center reach in front of you flex your feet ground your booty down sitting bones down into the floor lift your kneecaps and let's walk the hands back in towards us moving into deeper stretches right hand left foot leg behind the shoulder and here you can work your knee behind your shoulder from this stretch we're gonna go into an arm balance lift and transition into the arm balance slowly coming out of this lower down and over to the opposite side open this pose really stretches the internal organs so it feels quite good regardless of how deep you go into it and arm balance chaturanga alignment and lower down we've been doing this pose quite a while in the other classes but I will go into deeper tutorials or more complex tutorials more detailed tutorials in the future forward bend inhale your hands over your head and exhale fold forward breathe flex your feet pull your toes back in towards you Laura has a great article on the toes and feet 
alignment in yoga, your foundation and how the feet can affect your entire practice, I will post the link below. And slowly coming out of this, elevated bicycles, opposite elbow to knee. Keep your belly firm and in. Lower back alignment is natural, so you're keeping the natural curve of your lower back here. Don't round your back. Keep your elbows back, chest open. This is a difficult exercise. Do as many as you can, rest and come back to it. Next time do more. Do a few more reps than today. To uh, do this properly, it is very difficult and you will probably not do that many unless you are have been training with me for a while. Great, from here we're gonna lower halfway down, bend the legs and reach side to side. Again, do not round your back and keep the natural curve in your lower back, reaching side to side, maintaining the openness of your chest, shoulders down and belly in. Do as many as you can rest and do a few more come back to it next time with the proper alignment take a photo of you and see how you're aligning your lower back when you're done lay back on your back prepare for a back bend here you can do bridge pose or a wheel pose. This class is a level 2, that's why I'm not over explaining each and every pose. I will explain them in detail in my level 1 classes. Here I'm assuming we know how to do wheel pose with the feet pointing directly forward. And release. Supine twist, shoulders on the floor, look over to your right and opposite supine twist look over to your left shoulder on the floor soften the belly soles of the feet together supta baddha konasana butterfly pose reclining And let's bring the knees together. Hug your knees into your chest. Massaging the lower back here. Softening the lower back into the floor. And let's grab the right foot into the left inner elbow. Hip opening. A variation of pigeon pose. You can hold this a little longer today if you have the time to stay in hip openers switching sides the alignment here is flexing the foot keeping the knee away from you and the foot towards you opening the thigh away from you the outer thigh away from you. Great. Prepare yourself for Shavasana. Laying down. Softening, allowing the body to relax and let go. Softening the belly, softening the jaw, softening the shoulders, softening the hips. Allowing yourself to become heavier. And heavier. And heavier. Allowing your breath to be easy. And free and unrestricted 
finding freedom, liberation, space, softness through and in your breath. Stay here for as long as you need to. Letting go of worry. Letting go of thoughts. Letting go of stress. Just observing the present moment, allowing yourself to experience the present moment as the present moment is perfection and you are a part of this perfection, you are participating actively in this creation. of pure harmony and perfection. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.